I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's what you need to know about waveforms and harmonics. When we build a sound with a modular synth, we usually start with an oscillator like this Q106. The oscillator's pitch is set by a combination of the range switch, the frequency knob, and the control voltage which typically comes from a keyboard or a MIDI interface. The terms frequency and pitch and note can be used interchangeably. The oscillator produces several waveforms simultaneously all at the same pitch and amplitude. The difference between them is harmonics. Harmonics are additional frequencies above the fundamental pitch that are woven into the sound, and our ears are good at hearing these. We can tell the difference between a guitar and a saxophone, even if they're both playing the exact same pitch, mainly because their harmonics are different. Let's start with a sine wave. A pure sine wave has no harmonics, just a bass or fundamental frequency. It sounds like a flute, nice and pure, with no edginess. We can add a little vibrato to liven things up, but all that's doing is changing the pitch back and forth. And we can add a little tremolo, but all that does is change the amplitude up and down. If we patch this sine wave into a low pass filter, all we get is a reduction in volume of the sine wave because there's no upper harmonics to remove in a sine wave. The result of a filter sweep on a sine wave is pretty boring. Let's move over to the saw wave. This wave is the same pitch as the sine wave before, but notice it sounds buzzy and edgy, sort of brassy. That's because it contains harmonics which are additional frequencies added to the fundamental. Think of each waveform as a combination of sine waves. Now, if we patch this saw into a low-pass filter, we can selectively remove the upper harmonics. With the filter frequency set high, there's no change, but as we reduce the filter frequency, it begins to remove harmonics, and we start to hear the change. If we add some resonance, it gets even more fun. Now we're getting somewhere. What's happening here is the filter is removing upper harmonics and converting the saw wave with all its fancy harmonics into a sine wave. As we approach a sine wave, there becomes fewer and fewer harmonics until we're left with the pure fundamental pitch of the sine wave. Now let's try the square wave. It has a different set of harmonics and has sort of a hollow character to it. Here's a low-pass filter sweep on the square wave. And I'll add a little resonance. So, different waveforms have different harmonics, and when we start with a harmonic-rich waveform and remove harmonics using a filter, this is called subtractive synthesis. And subtractive synthesis is a fundamental principle of analog modular synthesizers.